Hi, my name is Chris Burris. I'm one of the owners of SES Research, and I wanted to do an, uh, an add-on demonstration uh, from a demonstration we did with Gwen Foster uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, in that demonstration, we actually filtered uh, product C-60, uh, and what we filtered actually came out clear. In that demonstration, I also showed a, 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 a test tube similar to this. It, had, uh, per it was purple because it's got C-60 in sunflower seed oil, and some of the people uh, had asked why we didn't filter that particular solution right so that everyone could be convinced that yes indeed when C60 goes through a, is in solution it goes through a filter um, I have a reason I don't have a valid excuse the reason is because I knew exactly what would happen so it didn't dawn on me that we should actually do that demonstration uh, until people started asking and so then I decided that we should do this follow-up demonstration so we've got C60 here this is actually about a gram of C60 this is the vacuum oven baked C60 and washed you want to make sure uh, if you're making this your own or if you want to become a manufacturer of some sort of C60 oil, you want to make sure you're using the right product. You do not want to use the reagent grades um, and you definitely want to use the vacuum oven baked and washed. So we've got sunflower seed oil. Um, let's go ahead and we'll pour that in here in this test tube and I'm going to mix a little bit of C60 into that sunflower seed oil. So we'll get this poured in. That's good. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of C60 just so you guys can kind of a demonstration of how that process might work. I'll put it on the opposite side of the filter of where the oil poured down the test tube. All right, so now I'm going to mix this in this Vortex mixer. Um, and you can see the C60 going down there. I'm going to mix this in this Vortex mixer. So the Vortex mixer is, is good. It's a, a way to mix rapidly um, that doesn't use sonication. So it's really important to not use sonication in this process. And the reason is when you use sonication, you get very local, very high temperatures uh, throughout the mixture. And those high temperatures can actually degrade the oil and degrade the C60 and how it interacts with the oil. So you definitely do want, not want to sonicate uh, uh, your C60 olive, uh, olive oil or whatever oil you're working with. Just, just so you know, we only use olive oil. We only sell olive oil. And, and the reason is because the olive oil was what was used in the original 2012 Bati rat study where the rats live twice as long or almost twice as long and we don't have any good research on any other oils. Additionally, there's a study out there that's looking at a spectrophotometer of the different of C60 and different oils, and there are distinctly different peaks on that spectro, uh, spectrophotometer readings different between olive oil and all the other oils. So we want to just make sure that we're using the right product. I'm going to move this C60 kind of out of the way over here. And um, and then I'm going to just pour this purple solution. We, this is actually mixed for about seven to ten days, um, so it, it actually could be uh, more C60 could go into solution. We'll take this. By the way, I'm going to include a link. You can get these syringe filters and this syringe for about $16 uh, on eBay. I'm going to include the link uh, in this video. We're just going to suck up this purple solution right in there. And then we're gonna attach that. We've got our test tube over here. So we're just gonna start. Now it takes a while. It is a pretty, it's a 0.2 micron filter. So it takes a while. And this, gotta put a little pressure on it so it starts going through the filter. And so what you're gonna find, what we knew, you know, I knew would happen in the last video, which is kind of why I didn't do it. What you're gonna find is what comes out is the exact same solution because the purple is an indication that C60 is dissolved in the sunflower seed oil. Uh, and when it's dissolved, just like if you were to dissolve sugar in water and then filter that, let's say you had sugar and sand together, when you filter that sugar, sand, and water mixture, the sand would stay on top of the filter and what actually dissolves in the water would go through the filter and as you can see this is coming out it's the same purple color uh, so no real surprise there let me get a little bit more out here good all right so if you look here's the original solution here's the solution after filtering it's probably going to look a little lighter on the camera just because there's not as much of the uh, of the solution and then here's olive oil excuse me sunflower seed oil with c60 and obviously the c60 hasn't dissolved yet uh, so that's our demonstration of filtering uh, c60 that has been dissolved in sunflower seed oil thank you